As we start 2024, people in Ukraine and in the Middle East are facing a new year with war and uncertainty. We are now closing in on two years since Russia's widespread invasion of Ukraine. And now Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky is saying his country's counteroffensive against Russia has been less successful than he had hoped. And we are now three months into the Israel-Hamas war, with Israel's military forces now moving further south through the Gaza Strip. Joining us from Kingston with a look at both conflicts is CTV military analyst, retired Major General David Fraser. Good morning. Good morning, Lindsay. So we ended the year with what Ukraine officials had said was the strongest round of Russian airstrikes in the country since the invasion started nearly three years ago. What do you see for this war in the coming months? Well, I see a lot more of drones attacks and missile and rocket attacks, much like what we've seen uh, over the winter months. Uh, because, you know, in the winter, you know, the, the fighters along the along the front will uh, be just hunkering down. But the uh, what Russia does is it goes after and terrorizes the, the local population across Ukraine, as they've just shown. And we've also got a, uh, an election coming up in Russia where Putin is going to try to show that he is uh, strong and also trying to uh, settle the score with Ukraine. Uh, meanwhile, uh, President Zelensky is just doing whatever he can to survive. Further U.S. funding for Ukraine, it's deadlocked. We know that in Congress. Canada is budgeting less than half of the financial aid for Ukraine in 2024 than we spent last year. So how will that affect Kyiv's war effort? Well, I think it's a dire uh, narrative for Ukraine because, you know, uh, because they don't have, you know, the ammunition to, uh, manufacturing capability, uh, Russia has changed their economy to a war fit, uh, fit uh, standing. And I think what we're going to see is a, a slow, you know, sort of insurgent type of operation, low intensity, where Russia is just going to keep eking out uh, inches and feet at a time. And meanwhile, Ukraine is just going to be fighting for their lives because the West has... Uh, tired of the war and they're also changed their direction and now focused on Gaza. So it's bad news for Ukraine. It's a reprieve for Russia. And unfortunately, it's not good news for any Ukrainian civilian. So let's turn our focus to Gaza. Hamas leaders are meeting in Egypt to talk diplomacy. Israel says it's moving some of its troops out of Gaza now. Is there any hope for peace anytime soon? I don't think anyone should be looking for peace anytime soon. I think the one thing that uh, this does say that uh, Israel is going in for a long haul war. Uh, they pulled out some of their tanks because, you know, tanks in urban areas where there's essentially 85% of the population of Gaza are now displaced. Uh, Israel is fighting amongst those people. The tanks are not good. They're just going to start to do a low intensity operations, more special forces, and slowly. Uh, uh, go after Hamas, who are hiding amongst the people. I think at the same time, the world is uh, putting a lot of pressure on Israel to do this and stop their old ways of uh, doing business. And the other thing is we should be looking for is uh, will those ships of uh, humanitarian supplies be allowed to go through Cyprus and into uh, Gaza? But uh, there is no short-term uh, solution to this. This is a long war, and the Gazans are going to be the ones that suffer for it. Retired Major General David Fraser, thanks for your time this morning. Lindsay, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.